Welcome. So, you've brought something from... Yes, this is a genuine Nern root sample. Very nice quality, in fact. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Since you already know what they look like, do you feel up to a bit of a collecting expedition? Excellent! But before you go, you're going to need to learn a bit more about Nern root. Otherwise, you may walk in circles and never find any. A few years ago, an adventurer not unlike yourself sold me a musty old tome containing alchemical formulas. Most of them were worthless. But one of the moldy pages contained a recipe for a potion known as an elixir of exploration, a sort of ultimate dungeon delver's brew. The formula looked sound, except it required an extremely rare ingredient. Yes, you guessed it, the Nern root. I put the book aside because, frankly, I had so many other delicate experiments going on that I just didn't have the time to go plant hunting. Now that you're here, that changes things. The Elixir of Exploration is a multi-purpose potion that was obviously created with the Dungeon Explorer in mind. The formula describes many magnitudes of the brew. If you're interested, I wrote a short missive about it for the Imperial Alchemy Symposium. You bring me ten samples of Nernroot, and I'll make the elixir available to you at a huge discount, as well as give you one for free. The best place for you to start would be Shade Leaf Copse, which is a part of the great forest northeast of here. Good luck, and hurry back with more of the Nernroot. How goes the... If you need... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Make a good bit of gold. You need to make a better offer. That's and at that's team of five. Be careful in shade leaf cups. No telling what else resides there. How goes the fantastic? You actually found ten of the Nernroot. I'll begin making the Elixir of Exploration right away. According to my research from the tome, I'll need at least twenty more Nernroot to make the next magnitude of Elixir. In any case, if you come back in about twenty-four hours, I should have the weaker Elixir ready for you. Leave me to my work. You choose to share your time with... What? Can't you see that I'm upset? I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. I know what you've heard, all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. 
Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Are you in or are you out? Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. Everyone's talking about the victory over... I can't help myself. I'm just a sucker for well-heeled men. That Olaf, for example, at the tap... He's not likely to just... Yes. Look at the muscles on you. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you try- That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. I don't know who you I'm not talking that fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to... I don't know who you... Go ahead. Nice try. Let's hear it. Excuse What up? Can I... 
Everyone's talking about the victory over me. She holds public... Stop right there! Hope you... By the way the guards tossed you in here, I can see you're no friend of theirs. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem, and make some money for yourself in the process. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. And once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, uh, we were doing petty crimes all over Syria. Small scores, 10 gold here, 25 there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money's yours. Finally, a chance for revenge. You've got nothing to lose, so why not just tell me, and save us both I... I don't talk to in... Chance for revenge. You've got
another one of his tall tales. I hope you didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? What if there was another way? What if he thought I was dead, but I wasn't? Then he'd tell you the location of the gold. What did he need as proof? That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Only he would stoop so low. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. You kill me here and now. And as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. So you make your choice. You want to do it my way, or Jorinda's? I knew you'd make the smarter decision. Good. Here's the key to the chest by my bed. Inside, you'll find the amulet Jorunda wants. Take my amulet to him. Get the gold and bring half of it back here to me. If you don't come back, I'll let the guards in on our plan. You'll be hunted all over Cyrodiil. You don't want that, do you? I don't think so. Good luck. I warn you, don't cross me. Prisoners may not accept gifts. Stay true. What a bu- Show me the proof. So, she's dead, eh? <laughs> finally, finally someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. <laughs> good, good. Well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the North Gate. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. I haven't got all day. Prisoners may not accept gifts. I'm here for Jorunder's gold, and you're my only loose end. I've been hoping to get someone in his cell and loosen his lips, and then you showed up. You really should be more careful when you talk in the dungeons. The cell tends to carry. Jorunder's such an idiot. I've taken care of Venora. She won't be around to point the finger. And Jorunder's not going anywhere for a long time. That just leaves you.
How can I help you? Good day to you. So, Claudette sent you, huh? Well then, she usually sizes up people well, so you may be just what we're looking for. I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. His inventory must be stolen. It has to be. He prices less than it costs to make some of those things. Go see for yourself. I Thanks saw again for your help. Right. Well, what kind of... What about my... Well, thank you. It's not only a fine assortment of goods, but a bit of a treasure trove. You never know what I'll have in stock. I can see by the look on your face, you wonder where I get all these fantastic items. I'll tell you what I tell everyone else who asks. It's all about who you know. My sources are good, but they are secret. Anyway, have fun looking around, and when you are ready to buy, give me a shout. Look at them. Muscles on you, please. How By all means. Welcome.
Why are you following me? Please, I'm very busy. That you, Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Gen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here.
Are you implying that my merchandise comes from the deceased? Your story is ridiculous. This sounds like some lie created by... Please, if you don't want to buy... Welcome. Please, go on. Are you... I will not accept your... You have my ear, citizen. things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm. Yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave.
children are starving, please. Were you able to stop Argamir? Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen, and I have decided to join the society. I realize you risked your life to give me a chance. And Thoranir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. You've shown... ...me mercy. Rest in peace now that this is over. In your absence, Thornir visited and we spoke at length about his role in this scheme. I believe him when he says he didn't know Agramir's sources. He told me of his intentions to donate all of the money and inventory to the local temple. He also agreed to buy and sell merchandise at fair prices. Last but not least, he's officially joined the society. I am taken aback by his honest intentions. In return, the Society has decided not to press charges. His name will be absconded from the records of this crime. Now, I'm sure you are waiting to hear about your reward. The Society thanks you for everything you have done. Please, take this gold. Many thanks on behalf of all of us. It's been a pleasure. Much about your di I trust the stipend told them gave you whetted your appetite. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Cavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaveri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship, worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? Back at the end of the first era, Raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now northern Cyrodiil. 
the Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the Trident Kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind, he struck at their rear flank. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumor and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist and it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian Madstone. Please consider... my proposal. Hear me. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. May the path... Head be free of danger. Yes, ma'am. 